the first words to do what? Well, I'm a kid is the first person that wanted to put me in the studio, like 10 years ago. There you have it. And there you have it. Now, you wait a minute, Jesus. I thought your man Stevie J discovered Jocelyn Hernandez, my lord. Isn't that, wasn't that their original storyline on Love and Hip Hop? So you're telling me that we were fooled, bamboozled, hoodwinked, had the wool pulled over our eyes, Jesus? Really, my lord? So it was Bryant McKinney. The football player and star from Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season one. Yes, he's one of the cast members who discovered Jocelyn Hernandez's fine ass. What was he doing in the strip club anyway? Was he tricking? Listen, I'm sorry, y'all. If I'm tricking, I'm licking. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I, I can't do the strip club thing, y'all. I, I can't be given a half of money to shake her ass and I can't shake my dick. I'm sorry. I, that may be offensive to some of y'all. I'm just keeping it real. I'm sorry. I'm spending money on you. I'm fucking the shit out of you. I right? fucking your brains out, bitch. Every time a hoe shake a head, all you hear is that bitch sound like a rattle. Fucking bitch is stupid. Fuck out of here spending money on these girls. Motherfuckers be driving like $50,000 on a fucking stripper one night and don't even touch her. He didn't even get the <laughs> chance to stick his finger in her on state. Nothing. 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 Some people don't even make 50000 in a year. So sorry for you if you don't. But shit. Excuse me. I, you know. <laughs> I didn't mean to go on a rant there. It, 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 I just remember though that Jocelyn. You know we're talking like 10 years ago. This is when she was stripping and shit right. So he probably met her like in the strip clubs in Miami. Remember did, did she used to like strip with Jessica Dime. So I'm thinking like damn he probably met her as a stripper. I wonder how much money he put on it. And I, I hope that he puts, <laughs> hope he puts some penis on her too. I mean, I'm sorry, y'all. Ah, uh, anyways, man, you you dudes crack me up with that shit. I'm thirsty, but motherfuckers who go to strip clubs, no, those are normal men. Those are men that get all the pussy. <laughs> you making it rain on bitches, but you the one that's getting all the pussy, though. Sure, wink. But any not not that. That's what the bitches in my comment section to say. I'm thirsty. Nothing's thirstier than paying a woman to take her clothes off and you don't get the fuck. That shit is sad. I do not fuck with strippers. But anyways, um, here's the deal though. Shout out to Jocelyn Hernandez 360 on Instagram for reposting this video. Listen, man, I can't wait to see what type of ninja Brian McKinney is. This is a big, strong motherfucker. Like none of the dudes in the cast are going to fuck with him. Because they're not, they're not trying to get tackled and shit, you know? Like, it'd be all fun and games, you know, this big, tall-ass son of a bitch. You know, you running your mouth to him. you like, yeah, yeah, motherfucker. You think that the cameras, uh, rather the, the security, are going to get over there and break the shit up. Next thing you know, this motherfucker done broke your neck, busted your jaw up before they can even get to you. Remember, he's strong and fast as shit. He can run through the security. They're going to have a time with him if somebody on the on the cast is is acting stupid so you know if i was in the cast of love hit by miami I'd, I'd definitely be cool with the brother i'd be like hey brother bean pies and bow ties brother my brother malcolm x brother shit i'll be talking all that my brother my brother shit i'll be sounding like motherfucking elijah muhammad in there and shit you know i'll be making sure that i don't i don't get my ass whooped i won't want to say wrong things <laughs> you know shit that whatever they paying you to be on love hip hop is not worth that type of ass whooping i'm sorry and the embarrassment Motherfuckers have too many cell phone cameras out in gent. Anyways, I'm just going on just, uh, just I'm, I'm going everywhere with this shit right now. I'm just talking about just a bunch of BS. Just a bunch of stupidity. But, <laughs> what was this video about? Oh, da, 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 da. oh yeah, he discovered Jocelyn Hernandez. That's crazy, right? I mean, what do you guys think about it? Do you think it's true? Do you think they're just fronting for the cameras? You think, you think they're just trying to clown Stevie? I think I believed him. I believe that he really did discover it. It makes total sense, you know. Uh, rich, famous football player, you know, uh, comes to the strip club, meets smoking hot stripper. She says, you know, I'm an aspiring artist. He's like, well, listen, you, you need to get up in the studio. I believe you. Did, didn't didn't this happen with Mace and Eve? For when I remember, wow, that's another Stevie J connection. That's crazy because Stevie J used to date Eve. And he was damn near married to Jocelyn. Interesting. Anyways, I don't know what it is with Stevie J and these <laughs> aspiring artists who happen to be strippers, but you know, I guess that's his thing. Remember, there was the other girl, 
Shay Shay Mac. Remember, she was a if was she an artist? Was she a rapper or a singer? I think she was. Remember her with the braces? And she was a no, she was a bartender. What the fuck am I talking about? Anyways, my dumb ass. I, I don't even know what I'm talking about, my lord. I'm just a dumb son of a bitch with a microphone. Uh, what do you guys think about Bryant McKinney discovering Jocelyn Hernandez? I'm just sitting up here just rambling at this point. Rambling about chicks with fat asses that Stevie J done smashed or possibly or allegedly or possibly done smashed and whatnot. So I, I'm just talking about nothing right now. It's talking about a whole lot of ass. Uh, what do y'all think about Brian McKinney discovering Jocelyn Hernandez? I think that's a pretty cool story. Oh, they talk about it in Love and Hip Hop Miami. And is your girl Jocelyn a part of the cast? I mean, I know that that may sound like a, a pretty dumb question to ask, like, me, she's on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, and she was having issues with Mona Scott, so why would she end up on Love & Hip Hop Miami? But sometimes you see people pop up in these photos on social media, and then the next thing you know, they end up on, like, the cast of a show together. Maybe there's another show they're going to be on. Maybe they're going to be on Scare Famous Part 2, rather Season 2. I don't know, but anyways, let me know what you guys think about what do you guys think about me senselessly rambling? And what do you think about all the shit that I said in this video, man? Let me know what you think about it all below. I'd have wrapped this up because I'm just talking right now. I usually don't do this, but I'm in a talkative mood today. Remember, don't drink while blogging. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. Hit the notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. Looks like a bell. Now, once you click that button, you'll be sent alerts, and you'll be notified when new videos get posted, Jesus. How cool is that? Don't you want to press that button? Hmm? Don't you just want to put your little finger on it? Don't you want to subscribe and get notifications? I know you do. I know you do, bitch. That's so why you just take that little finger, you put it on the button, and you press that mother.